हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अनवेशा एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू एस्पायरिंग बैंकर अनवेशा यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ द बुक व्हाट पावर मेड इजी सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डॉक्टर्स बिफोर बिगिनिंग द सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू प्लीज शेयर द सेशन विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट मोर एंड मोर पीपल कैन ज्वाइन and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon so that you get notified for the next videos so let's begin at first we are going to learn a few root words and then we are going to learn words from these root words okay the first root word with us is internus internus means inside Okay. The next root word is gyne. Gyne. This root word we had learned yesterday. So gyne means woman. Logos. Logos means signs. Asian. I C I A N. This is a suffix. Suffix is something that uh, that stays that remains at the end of a word. and prefix remains in the beginning okay fine obstetrics obstetrics okay asian is a suffix and if now this asian suffix is used then it will mean expert obstetrics obstetrics means midwife this comes from the latin verb which means stand who is a midwife midwife is a woman who stands who stands uh, in front of in front of uh, in front of a pregnant woman while she gives birth okay and sh- and this midwife helps the pregnant woman to give birth to a child okay so that's why this midwife obstetrics means midwife because it comes from the from a latin verb which means stand okay pedos pedos means child then I A T R E I A atria means medical healing. These are root words. Okay, these are root words. We'll uh, we'll learn words from these root words. Pedis. Pedis means foot. A G O G O S agogos. Agogos means leader. Demos. Demos means people. Derma means skin. Hypos means under. Okay. Epi. epi means outer taxes t a x i s taxes means arrangement then ophthalmos ophthalmos means eye oculus also means eye then your pacus pacus means thick metron means measurement opsis or opticus means vision odontos means tooth orthos means straight or correct cardia means heart neuron means nerve and algos means pain so these things will become more clear once we learn the words okay now we will go to the words okay before that osis osis means osis is a suffix which is uh, it remains at the when it remains at the end of any word it would mean abnormal or diseased condition diseased means having any disease disease and diseased these two are different okay diseased diseased means dead and diseased means having any disease having any condition any medical condition psyche psyche means spirit soul or mind okay then geros geros means old age okay now comes our may or uh, now comes our words okay now we'll learn words from these root words internist let me change uh, let me change the color of my pen here Okay, internist. Internist is a specialist in internal medicine. So this comes from two root words. Okay, this comes from two root words. So here you have seen internus means inside, and internus means inside. So this comes from the root word internus. root word internus which means inside a specialist in internal medicine is internist what is internal medicine 
internal medicine internal medicine means an internist is an internist is someone who determines the state of your internal organs the state of your internal organs to diagnose what is happening within your body to cause the trouble you are complaining of uh, suppose you are uh, suppose you are having stomach ache okay you are suffering from stomach ache you go to a you go to an internist that internist uh, that internist performs an usg ultrasonography on your uh, on your lower abdomen and then uh, and then the internist he he tells you he diagnose uh, he tells you his diagnosis he tells you what is your what is the problem that you are actually facing okay so an internist determines the state of your internal organs to diagnose to diagnose the problem okay he specializes in identifying and treating diseases that do not require a surgery this is very important that uh, do not require a surgery treating diseases that can be treated without surgery that is an internist okay but internist is different from an intern an intern is a person who an intern is a person who practices under a superior okay it can be anything an intern can be a medical medical uh, student an intern uh, can be even an intern can be even in any field in media in it in any field an intern is a person who works under a superior okay so here also you see you can see uh, you can say works within a superior then means inside and that's why it comes from internus okay internus is the keyword here root word next next word is gynecologist gynecologist is a specialist who treats female reproductive and sexual organs it comes from the root word gyne which means woman okay which means woman so a gynecologist is someone who treats female reproductive organs and sexual organs okay your uterus ovary um, related to female problems obstetrician obstetrician comes from the root word obstetrics see here look at the root word obstetrics a midwife okay obstetrics so it comes from the root word obstetrics plus which one i c i a n plus i c i a n from two root words i c i a n means expert and this means midwife a person who stands with the pregnant woman during her delivery so obstetrician is an expert who helps in delivery a specialist who helps in delivering babies takes care of the mother during and immediately after the period of pregnancy okay in india in india a person who is a gynecologist is also an obstetrician okay but in western countries uh, these two people are different next pediatrician pediatrician comes from two root words one is one is which one pedias pedias let's look at the spelling from here p a i d o s pedos pedos means child and i c i a n means expert okay p a i d o s and i c i a n this means child and this means expert so a specialist and expert who treats child is a pediatrician okay next dermatologist comes from two root words or you can say one derma derma means derma means skin derma means skin so it comes from the root word derma a specialist who treats skin diseases that specialist will be called dermatologist okay now now i'll tell you this has actually come from two root words 
which are those one is dharma and the second is logos logos means science okay logos means science just look at this gynecology gynecology also comes from one root word woman gyne and the second is logos which means science okay so here also it means a person a specialist a specialist who deals with the science of women science of treating women okay that specialist will be called gynecologist if we if we refer back to our root words we will see that we have read this root word where was it logos science fine okay now i a t r e i a means medical healing itria remember this because we will come we will come across this one in the later part here here no okay here okay so this one derma means skin and logos means science a specialist to treat skin diseases okay next ophthalmologist ophthalmologist comes from two root words one is ophthal ophthalmos which means eye and the second is logos which means science okay a person who deals with the science of eye that person is an ophthalmologist of the physician whose specialty is disorders of vision that person is an ophthalmologist ophthalmos plus logos okay next orthopedist orthopedist comes from the root word orthos which means skeletal system bones or skeletal system okay so a specialist who deals with the skeletal structure of the body that is with bones here you see this person is holding an x ray of the rib cage okay so specialist who deals with the skeletal structure that is with your bones that specialist will be called orthopedist okay and what will be the department known as orthopedic okay next cardiologist cardiologist comes from the root word cardia cardia which means heart okay a specialist who treats diseases of the heart and circulatory system will be called cardiologist okay next neurologist neurologist comes from the root word neuros comes from the root word neuros which means which means your brain no sorry which means your nerves it comes from the root word neuros which means nerves the physician special uh, specializes in the treatment of disorders of the brain spinal cord and the rest of the nervous system which means the entire nervous system because it comes from the root word neuros which means nerves okay next look at the picture look at the picture this person is pointing towards the brain okay next psychiatrist psychiatrist comes from the root word psychos we can refer back to the root words and just have a look psyche from this root word this means spirit soul or mind okay psyche spirit soul or mind so now just come back psychiatrist comes from two root words one is psyche and the second is i a t r i a t r i e a these two root words this means this means healing and this means mind so a person who heals the mind who cures the mind that person is 
that person is a psychiatrist the specialist attempts to alleviate alleviate means to reduce mental and emotional disturbances mental and emotional emotion is related to spirit mental is related to mind okay Right, that person is a psychiatrist. Next, pedagogy. Pedagogy is the method and practice of teaching. Okay, pedagogy is the method. Okay, now this is uh, completely different. This is completely different, not related to your medical terms, but related to the root words that we have discussed. So this word comes from the root word a g o g o s agogos, which means leading. or leader okay so it comes from the root word agogos and also the root word p a d i o p a uh, p a i d o s p a i d o s which means child from these two root words okay this comes from these two root words which means a leader someone who is leading a child someone who is leading a child which means someone who is teaching now it comes from these two root words but now pedagogy will mean the method and practice of teaching anyone it can be child or adult okay anyone but actually it comes from these two root words leader plus child agogos plus pedos okay this part comes from comes from this paid this and this word part a g o g y comes from this one agogos okay fine the method and practice of teaching here you can see a woman is teaching many children but pedagogy can also mean teaching adults okay next pedagog now pedagog is a negative word okay it is a negative word it also comes from it also comes from agogos and pedios pedos like we have seen agogos plus pai plus pedos but it would mean a negative which means narrow minded straight list straight list means a person who is very strict on principles okay old fashion and dogmatic teacher dogmatic means what uh, someone uh, someone who is very opinionated someone who is very uh, rigid regarding uh, his opinion and uh, he demeans the opinion of others that person is a dogmatic person and the opinions can be false okay and the views that he has might not be correct he is inclined uh, to give principles uh, that are actually not true fine that can be false as well because that person is old fashion straight list and narrow minded teacher a very strict teacher okay that person is a pedagog okay next demagog demagog is also a negative word this is also a negative word which would mean someone who misleads people who misleads people this comes from the root word dema which means people and and a g o g o s agogos which means leader okay a person who misleads people many leaders of the past and present in countries around the world have been accused of demag uh, demagoguery so this is also a noun okay this is also a noun okay if you want to make if you want to change this into an adjective then your adjective will be demagogic this is an adjective form okay so uh, accused of demag uh, accused of demagoguery means uh, many leaders many leaders of our past and present they have been misleading people you know what happens uh, what happens before election before election our politicians give us high hopes but then they fail to uh, fulfill those uh, expectations those promises they make tall promises and then they then they fail to fulfill those okay so these people are actually actually demagogic these are actually demagogic people okay they mislead people others fine 
it comes from two root words dema plus agogos next taxidermist taxidermist what did i tell you uh, this comes from taxis and derma derma means skin and taxis means arranging arrangement okay so a person uh, obviously a businessman this is regarding a businessman who the job uh, a businessman who actually arranges skin arranges skin means he prepares stuffs and mounts the skins of animals so he sells the skins of animals okay that's why he arranges different skins of animals and then sells them okay so this person is a taxidermist comes from the root word taxis which means arrangement and derma which means skin next pakaidom pakaidom comes from two root words one is uh, p a k h u s which means pakhas which means thick and the second is derma which means skin okay so an animal with an unusually thick skin like an elephant hippopotamus or rhinoceros that uh, do, these animals will be called pachydon okay fine so thick skinned next is dermatitis dermatitis comes from the root word derma and it would it is a, a general name for any skin inflammation irritation or infection okay any skin inflammation irritation or infection is known as dermatitis next okay monocle binocular and ocular okay i'll go back to the slide in which the root words have been discussed here oculus oculus means i okay oculus means i and from here no ratan this is not a recorded session i'll take your uh, comments i'll take your comments after i finish my session okay uh, oculus means i and wait so here you can see mono mono means one mono plus oculus mono means one oculus means eye a lens for one eye will be called monocle okay binoculars binoculars come from come from binoculars this word comes from two words one is bi which means two and the second is oculus which means eye okay two words two uh this one by plus oculus so 2 plus i filled glasses that increase the range of two eyes so binoculars are glasses that increase that increase the range of two eyes okay two eyes why do we use binoculars we use binoculars to have a to a, to clearly see far away things right ocular ocular is an adjective that refers to the eye okay if i say i am i am having ocular ocular problems i'm facing from ocular problems this would mean i'm facing from i i problems i'm facing i problems okay so problems is a noun here and ocular is an adjective fine okay next inoculated very important word okay very very important word inoculated now here you say inoculated means actually to vaccinate to vaccinate to give injection now why is this related to i why is this related to i because see this word oculus means i okay and it comes from this root word oculus because when you when you vaccinate a person what do you do suppose uh, this is a person's hand how will you vaccinate you will make a puncture with the help of the injection right so this puncture is known as eye an eye or a puncture or a hole is made in your skin through which serum is injected through which this medicine will be injected okay that's why this come from comes from the word oculus that is eye 
okay fine okay inoculated please remember the spelling as well because i have seen people making mistakes they uh, write double n instead of single n next all these words come from the root word cardia which means heart cardiac is a condition that refers to some malfunctioning of the heart like cardiac arrest if i say cardiac arrest it would mean it would mean attack in the heart so condition related to some malfunctioning some problem of the heart cardiac cardiogram is an electrically produced record of the heart beat when uh, when ecg is done then then cardium cardiogram is produced in this way okay and elect electrically produced record some waves are produced okay so this is called cardiogram and the machine that is used a instrument that is used to record these uh, to record these heart beats are uh, this to record these heart beats is called cardiograph cardiograph is the name of the machine cardiogram is the record these signals are cardiogram and the machine that is used is called cardiograph okay next geriatrics geriatrics comes from the root word g e r a s geras which means elderly or old age which means old age so geriatrics is the specialty this is the department that deals with particular medical needs of the elderly of the old people okay this is called geriatrics next next is neuralgia neuritis neurosis these three words come from the root word neuros which means nerve okay neuralgia is is acute pain along acute pain along the nerves and their branches okay acute pain along the along the nerves and their branches that is called neuralgia okay this comes this word comes from two root words one is neuros and the second one is algia algia means pain algia means pain okay neuritis neuritis is inflammation of the nerves now please try to relate dermatitis dermatitis would mean inflammation or any skin disease inflammation of the skin and your neuritis means inflammation of the nerves derma means skin so can we say that i t i s means any disorder or inflammation right any disorder or inflammation because here also neural neuritis comes from two root words neuros and i t i s i t s which means disorder or inflammation inflammation of the nerves neurosis neurosis comes from two root words one is neuro neuros and the second is o s i s osis osis means abnormality okay and neuros means nerves so neurosis would mean a relatively mild mental illness such as anxiety depression but not madness okay neurosis would not mean a mad person are not it would not mean a person who has completely lost it it would mean a person who has some a very uh, subtle mental illness such as anxiety or depression okay psychotic psychotic comes from the root word psyche which means a person who has completely lost his mind okay mad or insane okay so uh, i would like to tell you regarding an, uh, the an academy plus courses and after that i'll take your comments so now uh, from 2nd of july a new practice course on english have uh, this one a new practice course on english has started for sbi po and clerk mains and the timing for this course is 2 pm and on 28th of july a new practice course will start on english in which i am going to discuss only the previous year questions and the timing for this course will also be 2 pm okay and from 13th of july a complete course on english is going to start for sbip prelims and the timing for this course is 7 pm this course this one 
will be completely in english content and explanation in english but this one will be bilingual content in english but explanation in hindi and this one is also going to be by bi this one is also bilingual okay content in english and explanation in hindi okay so uh, this course the one the, that is going to start on 13 july a com the complete english course this is this is the part of the batch course that is going to start on 6th of july okay so that is today today it has already started and uh, reasoning will be taken by naresh sir at 9 pm quants by narendra sir at 11 am and english by me at 7 pm okay so if you are willing to subscribe to an academy plus please use the coupon code ani to avail a discount of 10% you can use this coupon code ani uh, not only for your banking sector but for other categories as well for cat for upsc for ssc railway any sector okay uh, for cbse as well you can use this coupon code ani to avail a discount of 10% if you take bank exam subscription then for 12 months of subscription um, your cost is 5400 rupees after applying the coupon code that is approximately 450 rupees per month for 6 12 and 24 months of subscription no cost mi is also available and from 15th of june uh, an ultimate batch course is going to start for svipo 2020 that is from pre to mains everything will be covered in which reasoning will be taken by ankush sir quants by ashish sir english by sakshi ma'am and current affairs by kapil sir so all these courses are on an academy plus so if you are willing to subscribe please use the coupon code and also in the description box down below you will find the link to my profile an academy profile please follow my profile because i take free live classes on an academy that is special classes so please follow my profile and also please join the telegram channel the link is given in the description box down below in the telegram channel you will be updated regarding my uh, live sessions my youtube sessions and my an academy sessions now i will take your comments uh ma'am please make one course in english uh, an academy plus Uh, in English on Academy Plus, uh, you mean to say that I should take a course, uh, an English course on on Academy Plus, and that course should be completely in English, is it? I'm already taking a course completely uh, in English, and that course is going to start on 13 July. Ma'am, कौन सा mock लेना चाहिए for practice test book or adda? और mock में कितना marks आना चाहिए? Okay, uh, Ratan, uh, for this I'd like to say, okay. uh so uh, ratan for this uh, test book or adda so if you if you give me only two choices test book or adda then i will i will go with the adda okay and how many and how much should you score in your uh, marks please don't uh, go with the score please go with your percentile okay just uh, just see how much percentile you are scoring your percentile should be should be above 95 fine above 95 Okay. Okay, uh, ma'am, please suggest me how to improve English sentence comprehension. करने में problem होती है. Okay, uh, you are not able to comprehend the sentences. Okay, for that you need to practice. Uh, Preeti, आप एक काम कीजिए. आप ना जो आसान text होती है वो पहले पढ़िए. ऐसा नहीं है कि आप पहले the Hindu पढ़ रहे हो क्योंकि आप comprehend नहीं कर पा रहे हो. ठीक है. तो आप आसान से स्टार्ट करो आप बच्चों की किताब से भी स्टोरी बुक से भी स्टार्ट कर सकते हो ओके चिल्ड्रन बुक से स्टार्ट कर सकते हो अगर आप चिल्ड्रन बुक से स्टार्ट देखो पढ़ना इंपॉर्टेंट है रीडिंग करना इंपॉर्टेंट है इट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट कि आप क्या पढ़ रहे हो इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज इंपॉर्टेंट ये आपको धीरे धीरे अपना लेवल बढ़ाना है अगर आप स्टोरी बुक में अगर आप इंटरेस्टेड हो तो आप स्टोरी बुक पढ़ो अगर आपने जो लोग एग्जाम्स एग्जाम्स क्लियर किए हैं अगर आप उनकी बात सुनते हो तो आपको समझ में आएगा ऐसा बात नहीं है कि सब लोग सिर्फ एडिटोरियल ही पढ़ते थे तभी वो इंग्लिश सीख पाए इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट अगर आप स्टोरी बुक में इंटरेस्टेड हो अगर आपको तो आप मैं आपको कहूंगी कि आप सुधा मूर्ति के बुक से स्टार्ट करो बहुत सिंपल लैंग्वेज है और बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है बच्चों का स्टोरी बुक है धीरे धीरे अपना लेवल बढ़ाओ उसके बाद आप ना स्टार्ट करो टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया पढ़ना उसके बाद आप स्टार्ट करो इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड देन यू कैन प्रोसीड टू द हिंदू ओके या यूट्यूब लाइफ टाइमिंग्स यूट्यूब लाइफ टाइमिंग्स सो Uh, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, on these three days, I come live at three thirty p.m. But on an Academy Bankers Hub YouTube channel, okay. And uh, on this channel, uh, I don't have any specific time to come live. So you will get the updates on my Telegram channel. Please join the Telegram channel. The um, I'll give you the link, okay. Right now, I'll give you the link of my Telegram channel so that you can join. Also, it is given in the description box down below. But in case 
you don't check the description box i'll just give you the link okay where is the link please give me a moment so that i can give you the link okay so this is the link please uh, join the telegram channel okay to get the updates okay to hmm fine okay regular class lijiye ma'am daily routine kya hona chahiye ma'am is there any batch for specially especially sbip or pre mains all any suggestions yes there is a batch for pre mains only for especially for sbip o just now i told you uh, this batch uh, this is a complete batch from pre to mains okay uh, and this is going to start from 15th of june if you do subscribe then please use the coupon code ani don't forget using this it means a lot to me and also uh, from 6th of july this batch is going to start and this is for sbip o prelims only and apart from that right now i'm taking a practice course for sbip o and clerk mains. means and uh, this is only for mains okay and practice course and this the timing for this course is 2 pm july 13 august 8 course will be delivered in english uh, language ma'am yes completely in english rajesh completely in english uh, not a single hindi word is go, uh, will be used in that course okay एनी वन एंस मैम डेली रूटीन क्या होना चाहिए रतन डेली रूटीन तो आप पर डिपेंड करती है कि आप कैसा रूटीन बनाते हो ओके okay? जो वर्किंग एक्सपीरियंस हैं वो लोग तीन चार घंटे भी दिन में पढ़ के क्लियर कर लेते हैं द थिंग इज हाउ मच हाउ मच कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड हाउ मच एफर्ट यू आर गोइंग टू पुट इन टू इट रंजना सिंह विच कोर्स येस दिस कोर्स इज गोइंग टू बी कम्प्लीटली बेसिक ओके प्रैक्टिस कोर्स ओनली फॉर प्रिलिम्स एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी बेसिक टू एडवांस्ड ओके दिस कोर्स इज गोइंग टू बी बेसिक टू एडवांस मैम हेलो मैम कैम ओनाचो येस शोरो आई एम डूइंग गुड मैम इज द एनी बैच फॉर स्पेशली एस बी आई पी और प्रीमियम्स आई टोल्ड यू ओके एनी वन इज रेगुलर क्लास लीजिए ओके रेगुलर क्लास यहाँ पर तो नहीं हो पाती है लेकिन देखिए मैं रेगुलरली कहीं ना कहीं पर तो क्लास लेती हूँ आप अन अकेडमी का ऐप इंस्टॉल कर लीजिए आप मेरा प्रोफाइल फॉलो कीजिए वहाँ पर मैं फ्री क्लासेस लेती हूँ ठीक है और वहाँ पर ना पोल्स वगैरह रहता है तो आप मतलब एक कम्पिटेटिव एन्वायरमेंट भी होती है तो आप एक आप प्लीज़ एक बार क्लास में स्पेशल क्लास में आके देखिए स्पेशल क्लास फ्री रहती है ओके एवरी वन आई थिंक आई हैव टेकन ऑल योर क्वेश्चन तलवे ये क्लास टुमारो नहीं होगी ये क्लास फिर से थर्सडे होगी रात आठ बजे ठीक है देखिए मैंने ऑलरेडी एक लाइव क्लास क्रिएट कर दिया है उसके लिए ओके ओके बाय एवरीवन थैंक यू थैंक यू बाय मैम एक वीडियो अपलोड कर दीजिए कैसे टाइम सेट करें एसबीआई पीओ के लिए ओके आई विल आई विल ठीक है ओके बाय गाइज Thank you, thank you for attending my session. And please, please, it's a humble request to all of you. Please uh, share the session with your friends. Yeah, please do this. Do this for me, please. Okay, itna kar do yar. Please share the session with your friends. Or uh, PDF, the PDF you will get in the Telegram channel. Okay, PDF.